Hey guys, Mr. Backer here. This is part two of lesson 6.2. We're going to use the law of cosines to model and solve real life problems, and we're going to use Huron's formula to find the area of a triangle. So in this first example, we've got a women's softball field. The distance between home plate and the pitcher's mound is 43 feet, and the distance between our bases is 60 feet. We're going to figure out how far the pitcher's mound is from first base. Now the first thing I'm gonna do on my picture is label a couple of distances. So we said from home plate to the pitcher's mound is 43 feet, and the distance between the bases is 60 feet, and we're trying to find this distance right here. Now notice that the infield makes a square, and this line running from the pitcher's mound to home plate cuts that 90 degree angle in half, so this is a 45 degree angle inside of there. So if we're looking for this x, we're gonna use the law of cosines formula that says x squared equals 43 squared plus 60 squared minus two times 43 times 60 times the cosine of that 45 degree angle. Now if we type that right hand side into our calculator, we should get about 1800.3 and that's x squared. So to get our final answer, we will need to square root this and when we do that, we get about 42.4 feet. Next example, we've got a baseball game going on. The batter is gonna hit the ball into center field. The center fielder is gonna pick up the ball and throw it to third base. What we're gonna do is figure out how far he threw the ball. Now we're gonna need a couple pieces of information. It says the distance from the center fielder to home plate is 240 feet. So I'm gonna label that on my picture right here, 240 feet. Between the bases on a baseball field is 90 feet, so from third base to home plate is 90. And again, this infield makes a square, and this line cuts at angle in half, so this is a 45 degree angle between there. Now we're looking for how far this throw went, so from the fielder to third base, we're looking for that x value. So we're gonna go x squared equals 90 squared plus 240 squared minus two times 90 times our 240 times the cosine of that 45 degree angle. When we type that right hand side into our calculator, we should get 35,152.99. And then square rooting that to get our final answer, it ends up being about 187.5 feet. Next example, we're tracking the movement of a ship. We're going to be starting at point A, and it says we travel 40 miles due east. So I'm gonna label that on our picture right here, 40 miles. At point B, we turn and then travel 30 miles. So this distance over here is 30 miles. Once we reach point C, we are 56 miles from our starting point. So that side from A to C is 56 miles. And what we wanna do is find the ship's bearing as we go from point B to point C. So what we're looking for is we're gonna need this angle B in our picture to help us out. So we're gonna use our law of cosines formula that says cosine of angle B equals that A value 30 squared plus that C value 40 squared minus our B value 56 squared all over two times that A value times our C value. On top of our fraction, we've got negative 636, and on bottom, we've got 2,400. If we divide that fraction out, we get negative 0 0.2650. And then we'll need to do the inverse cosine of that decimal to find angle B. And when we do that, it's about 105.4 degrees. Now thinking back to our bearings, bearings are based off of verticals. So we're looking at this 90 degree angle in here. We wanna figure out how far past that 90 degree angle we are. So if we take 105.4 minus 90, we get 15.4. So we're 15.4 degrees past that vertical. So if we were to give this a bearing, we're heading up, so that's north. We're 15.4 degrees past the vertical and we're heading to the right, so that would be east. Last thing we're looking at is something called Huron's formula, and it's a way of finding the area of a triangle based on just the side lengths. So here's our formula. It says the area is equal to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. That S value is called the semi-perimeter. So in order to find that, what we're gonna do is add up the three sides and split it in half. 
So in this example, we've got side lengths of 43 meters, 53 meters, and 72 meters. Let's start off by finding that semi-perimeter. So we're going to add up our three sides of our triangle. So 43 plus 53 plus 72, and then split that in half. When we do that, we get a semi-perimeter of 84. Now if we start plugging things into our formula, we're going to do the square root of our semi-perimeter times that semi-perimeter minus the first side, so 43, times that 84 minus the second side, 53, times our semi-perimeter 84 minus the last side, 72. If we simplify some things down underneath the radical, we've got 84 times 41 times 31 times 12. And if we were to type that into our calculator, we should get 1,131.8 eight, nine meters squared. That's going to be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below. And thanks for watching.